Hi guys, it's me Barnaby with Craig, Mitch, and this is episode one of this week's Spurverts. You know Spurverts, we're gonna talk about the things that make us incredibly excited and spurverted mm. to be Tottenham Hotspur fans this week. And we can only start, Craig, with our first victory of Get the in! season. Get in! Come on! Get... Come on! We got it! We got it! We actually got it! Not only is he now we pumped a few days after the fact, on the day I remember seeing your tweets and some uh, social of yours and you were basically going nuclear. We got it though. That is all that matters, Slats. That is all that matters. We got the win, three points. I was beginning to forget what the feeling felt like. It's true. And it's, it's true. back. It's it Euphoria. Was a, it was a vital win, a scrappy game, but a massive win, three points on the, on the board. Let's enjoy this time where we're above Chelsea in the league as love well, it, shall we? Love it, love it. Euphoria, ecstasy, all of that. I'll I'm tell you happy. this as well, it doesn't even look that bad. One win, three draws and one loss. Not many other teams have only lost one. So if we can win, let's say, five or six on the bounce, I'll tell you what, We'll be top of the league, I reckon, apart yeah. from City. And clean sheets. I mean, we can't be going wrong with clean sheets. Two clean sheets Ooh, in a row. Love I think, it. It, talking about that, um, Mopo has definitely thought over the close season, right, we conceded too many goals, we're yep. going to stop that, we're going to play Dyer in front of the back, uh, the back four. Beast, innit? And uh, yeah, like I was saying to you earlier, like, on the ball, he's not ever going to be, you know, a genius. But yeah. in terms of protecting Toby and Jan, sometimes he drops in. It's like a back three, and we are going to be hard to break down this season. I got to hold my hand up quickly. Um, I was really losing my mind when we didn't sign a central defensive midfielder. I thought we can't play Dyer there all season, but the guy's a beast. He is beast he's man. absolutely beasting it, and like you said, he can almost act like a third centre half player and just cover them. It's true. It. So the other thing to talk about is, of course, Hung Min Son made his debut. Yep. Uh, he was on for about 60 minutes uh, before tiring and being taken off. I personally think, you know, he didn't rip anything up, uh, but he looks like he's got a decent touch, makes some good uh, uh, angled runs and takes the ball on the turn nicely. That's what I spotted. Yeah, and when he's around, do you know what I say? I say sunset. You know why? Because it's going down. Every time he's around, it's going down. It's a sunset. I like that guy a lot. I really like him. There's something about him. I don't know what it is. I like the idea that you've maybe thought about that pun for about three or four days. No, no, it was literally now, off the cuff, guys. Sunset. Hashtag sunset point in there. It is going down when sun is around. Uh, Craig, Mitch turns out, is a genius wordsmith. Who knew? Um, so, yeah, so you think, I mean, you were saying earlier, um, why can't our uh, new signings uh, kind of hit, hit the ground running and score two or three goals on their debut. But I think from a foreign country, we need to give him a bit of time. Yeah. He looked good, but let's give him a bit of time to get into it. And uh, I, I do think he looked good, though. Uh, which brings me to Daily Alley. Daily Alley. Oh, oh. Daily Alley. So yeah, I was at yeah. Sunderland and I was at Leicester as well when he came on and scored that goal. Fans' favourite Daily Alley, straight away. Chanting for him when he's on the pitch, chanting for him when he's off the pitch. And he makes some incredible like runs beyond Harry Kane, like like a midfielder we haven't had for a long time. Mason did do that to score, but apart from that, for a few for a few years, I don't think we've had midfielders getting past the striker. I know, he's just a sweet player, and do you know why? He loves a nutmeg. He loves a he nutmeg. Does. He only does his nutmeg. That's all he's got Who's his he done this on. season so far? Modric, Cro uh, Tony Cruz, was Tony Cruz, it? yeah. And who was it at the weekend? He did something for Sunderland. Whoever their left back is, he'd done him. Just completely ended his life. He was absolutely phenomenal. The guy is just, he's, he's ballsy, he's audacious, yeah. he's fearless, and he's someone we need in the team. And he's just hungry to play. And like, he's a murderer. He ended someone's life. He did. He did. Um, Cuff him. He, the other thing I remember is just before he got taken off, uh, he, took a, he took a guy on down the left-hand inside channel and got to the byline. A beautiful cross that came yep. just wasn't in the right place for, but I know, I know. more of that getting to the byline we need, don't we? Because uh, Andros Townsend was doing similar stuff yeah, he when was. he came on. He was. And we've missed that kind of pace, that, that kind of uh, dynamism. Yep, I mean, just seeing him on uh, got me excited purely because he's offering something different on that right-hand side. Yeah. I mean, a lot of the players we've been playing on the right, Dembele, Lamella, they can't really beat a man and put a ball in, and Townsend was doing that on a couple of occasions. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so another bit of news that came out this week that fascinated me was in Steven Gerrard's serial serialization of his new autobiography, uh, in the Daily Mail, where he told uh, the Mail that Maurizio Pochettino spoke to him last year about asking him to join Spurs when he left Liverpool. Uh, is that, are you excited by that though? Well, I, mean, I think he's it's a fascinating. Legend. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what does excite me about that is it shows that Mopo is trying to think outside the box. Okay. You know, it's, it's the kind of signing, the kind of leadership that I've been talking about that I think we lack. Now, obviously we didn't get him, it was never going to happen. Yeah. But he's obviously looking for that kind of leadership to bring those young players through. Okay, from that perspective, I see exactly what you're saying. Yeah. But other than that, Gerard played in a Liverpool team that finished below us. And he didn't really contribute to it, did he? That's so I, I don't know if I'd want to take him outside. I think he's past it. Okay, that's true. And then finally for part one of Spurverts, and I can't believe I've left it this long, 
Emmanuel Adebayor yes! has left the club. He's gone. Straight out of Tottenham. <laughs> we should just make one of those pictures and put straight out of Tottenham. We've done that on social media oh, already. Done thank, it. You for, thank you for reading our tweets, Mitch. Sorry. Straight out of Tottenham, he is gone. Goodbye, Adebayor. And uh, maybe he can find one now with his faith and everything. Yeah. Leave football alone. He did an Instagram post just yesterday where he was like, uh, oh, my dreams, God is good, all this stuff. And, uh, what, that he's left? Yeah, he's, he was like looking like relaxed in one of his many houses. But yeah, uh, we've uh, reached a deal, terminated his contract. My guess is we probably gave him half of it, two and a half million, something like that. Mm. But realistically, he's a cancer around the club, yeah, isn't he? He, is. he was a cancer around City and Arsenal before it. I think sometimes you've got to get those players out of the club and let the other boys, some of the younger boys, take the step up in terms of confidence and yeah. lead leadership and it will only bode well for the club. Anyway, that was the end of Spurverts past, mm. uh, Part 1. Uh, don't forget to tune in to Part 2 where Craig, you'll be talking about Ryan Mason, of who course. hasn't always been your favourite, but he's growing on you, isn't he? We're going to talk about him. And uh, also the four games we've got coming up at home at White Hart Lane. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Let us know what you thought about Part 1 of Spurverts in the comment section below. Like the video and follow us on Twitter, at SpurdonTV. Come on, you Spurs. How's it going, guys? Welcome. You right there? Did I just <laughs> kind of knock you away? Welcome to Spurred On. All right, so this is Spurverts. Part two, Barnaby laid it down in part one, but we are here for part two. And we're gonna kick things off with Ryan Mason. Yeah. All right, so I think it is notorious 